Welcome back, welcome back. I am your host, Majestic Quinn 444. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram or TikTok. Miss one of a kind. We're here doing a general zodiac sign reading. We got individual signs for today for this month. To see the month of June for each zodiac sign. Um, always check out the description box for more information about your own personal birth chart. Um, it is very helpful. Um also use your intuition and uh, discernment when it comes to these messages and just in everyday life um again this is not a personal read these are general so let's see what we get let's see what we get here we got virgo let's start off with virgo today virgo for the month of june let's see what we get we're gonna start off with virgos Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for the month of June. Let's see what we get. We're going to start off with my own personal. And um, please don't be in my comment, Virgo, talking about uh -uh, that was the other person. And other person, don't be in my comment saying that was Virgo. If you know, you know. So let's see what we get from here. All right, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oh, that didn't want to flip. Look, somebody pulling you back, Virgo. Are you pulling somebody back? Take a resonate. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Virgo. I bet you're getting hard slash wet right now. You're pulling somebody back. That's a little horn dog for you. Look at the Look, confirmation. Look at the Look. My love is too big, too deep to describe. Mm hmm Too big, too deep. You're pulling them back. Okay. Let's see what else we get, Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising. Virgo, sun, moon, rising. So Virgo, look, you got some type of fame, or you could be famous. Somebody pulling you back that is famous. Is what I'm hearing. This person could have, you know, be high in social status, Virgo, is what I'm hearing. But they pulling you back. Um, let's see what we get. I bet you're getting high, especially right, right now. Yep. This person is kind, 2-2-2 two, two, two on the clock, kind and humorous. Or you're kind and humorous. I think it resonates. My love for you is too big, too deep to describe. Virgo, sun, moon, rising for the month of June. Virgo, sun, moon, rising. Yeah. Somebody's karma. Whether this is good karma or bad karma, it all depends how you've been behaving in these streets, Virgo. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We got somebody that's pulling you back, Virgo. Oh, let's start over. <laughs> so we do a Virgo for the month of June for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or you, or, you know, cross watcher. <laughs> so let's see. But we're talking to Virgo right now. Virgo, we got somebody that's pulling you back. They could be very high status on social media, social media or you know, you're about to create some type of fame, which is going to draw a lot of attention to you. Um, somebody could be feeling freaky dicky. Freaky dicky at this time. This person could be very kind and humorous. 333 three, three on the clock. Or you could be the kind and humorous person that this person is feeling freaky dicky towards you. Freaky dicky. <laughs> um, but they feel like um, your love is too deep. Too big and too deep to describe. Um, this could be some type of karmic cycle that you're in right now. Or it could just be your karma to deal with somebody who is very kind and humorous. Um, could be you know, some type of famous lover. Or you're going to experience some type of fame. Which is going to cause people to come back into your life. I keep hearing um, back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. That's what I'm hearing right now for you Virgo. Um, back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing for you. So we're going to clarify with some of the tarot for more clarification. Let's clarify pulling me back. Pulling me back. Who's pulling me back? Yeah, you is single right now. It's either you're single and abundant and somebody trying to pull you back while you're single. Or this is a single individual that wants to connect with you. Uh, 444 on the clock. This person could be have a very high statue on social media, but they're single, Virgo. Um, let's clarify this freaky deaky kind and humorous person. Freaky deaky. Freaky, freaky. 
<laughs> yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. I'm hearing some type of offer, the ultimate offer. The ultimate offer that you've been looking for from a kind of hemorrhage, freaky, famous person, you know, or you're about to be that. You're about to be a single, single, famous person, you know, but, you know, freaky is what I'm hearing. Or you got people that want to get freaky with you. Yeah, could be your child's mother is what I'm hearing. Or because you birthed these new ideas is what's going to help you become um the famous person that you're looking for or i'm not even hearing fame i'm hearing i'm like fame is here but i'm hearing re recognition but due to me seeing this i this um empress card i'm hearing that you're birthing new ideas you're birthing new ideas that's going to cause you to get a lot of lot of attention with this ace of pentacles and the nine of pentacles first you had nine of pentacles the ace of pentacles and then the empress card you could be somebody who's the bringer of the light. You bring, you shine the light on the truth is what I'm hearing. And people are going to recognize that. And I'm hearing there's people that, that it's like this when they see you. You know, freaky dicky. Freaky dicky. I'm hearing you're very beautiful, very attractive, very handsome. That's what I'm hearing. I keep hearing that back then they did a woman. Now I'm hot. They all know me. I keep hearing that. <laughs> Back then, they did it only. Yeah. Okay, because you speak the truth. King of Swords. You speak the truth. Male and female, you speak the truth. And they love it. They love it. It's flying the day. Yeah, you made a decision. Somebody made a decision. You made a decision to focus on your craft. Be single and focus on your craft to bring in abundance in your life. Is what I'm hearing. You focused on self. So you're going to receive some type of karma, some type of good karma with this Ace of Pentacles right here. Very good karma. Very good karma. <laughs> two, two, two could be significant. The number nine, three, three, three. All right, Virgo. Let's get it. We're going to get some... Um, affirmations again affirmations do not have to be related to the message um whatever encouragement you need at this time virgo please take it um but this is for virgo for the month of june the month of june i'm definitely hearing that song back then they did a woman now i'm hot they all alone all right virgo all right virgo let's get one let's get one we got regrets regrets Virgo, you got some regrets going on. We all have made mistakes and sometimes we may lie awake at night playing them over and over in our minds. But there is nothing to be gained from focusing on things that we can't change. Instead of wallowing in regret about the past, it is better to learn from our mistakes, accept them, and take from them what we use and what we can use. Bring these lessons forward into a positive future. I accept my past regrets and I am a better person for it. I'm moving forward and leaving my regrets behind me. Yeah, I feel like somebody did that. I feel like somebody took the courage to do that and step into their craft. If, if this, this is not a child's mother um, or your own mother, you know, per se, that's helping you out. I feel like you are birthing new ideas in your life. You take responsibility from your past, you know, mistakes, bring it into your present and future and moving forward. And it's actually creating, you're creating something that's going to be very fruitful. Very fruitful. Like with this Ace of Pentacles, I'm seeing somebody walking through this. Somebody has the opportunity to move. Um, I'm hearing move locations, move states, move. I'm hearing dim dimensions. Dimensions. I don't, um, I'm, I'm definitely seeing somebody portal jumped. Time jumped. Time jumped. Timeline jumped. I'm hearing that as well. You jump timelines. Butterflies could be significant. I'm hearing yellow. Yellow butterflies. Yellow bees. Like yellow. Just, I've been seeing yellow for like a week now. In most of these messages. Yellow could be significant for somebody out there. 
clear thinking. All right, Virgo. A clear mind is essential if you want to achieve our goals, yet it can often help happen that our minds become congested and tangled with distractions, thoughts, concerns. We need to stay aware of our thoughts to be able to categorize them as relative or unrelative to our present needs to let them go accordingly, thus allow us to concentrate fully on the task at hand. My mind is clear and focused. I will not let my mind become cluttered with needless thoughts. Damn. I feel like you cleared your mind. You cleared your mind from from, from thoughts, from situations. Um, I'm even hearing people. You let a lot of things go to focus on you. To focus on you. And it caused you to become the Nine of Pentacles and now into the Empress. You focus on yourself, Virgo, at this time. You could have Virgo in any placement in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, whatever, you know. Take what resonates for you. So we're going to get some angel um, answers and see what we get. This is your month of June for Virgo. Monthly June for Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising. Virgo. Yeah, Virgo. Virgo. Um, helpful people. Helpful people. Helpful people. God, wait. Situation might need you to wait at this time. Or somebody is going to wait on you. You know, maybe these helpful people are going to be there for you. A year from now. A year from now, whatever that is alluding to, whatever that is alluding to for you, a year from now, something is going to happen. Right now, there's a situation you need to wait on, um, and there is helpful people out there for you, Virgo, at this time. Um, are we going to do Lover's Oracle? Yeah, let's do Lover's Oracle. All right, Virgo, this is the truthful deck. Dun, dun, dun. We're about to get some clarification on what's going on. <laughs> what's going on? Ain't nothing to it but to do it, Virgo. Let me see. Yep, I'm afraid to lose you. Somebody's afraid to lose you. I guess like you can um, wait. Wait. Wait for me. Don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. Yeah, Virgo. Somebody's like, um, don't treat them this way. Where this is, um, you telling this to somebody? Take what resonates, please. Take what resonates for you. Um, the passion is too much. The passion is too much for somebody. Which caused them to be single. Cause you to go single and focus on yourself is what I'm hearing. I'm afraid to lose you, but they don't want to be treated any type of way. The passion is too much. Um, I'm hearing somebody definitely left the situation and focus on themselves. They became single with the Knight of Pentacles. They end up focusing on their craft or they just focus on themselves, putting love into themselves. They end up getting the Ace of Pentacles. Turning into the high, um, high priestess, um, I'm sorry, empress, and then due to them speaking their truth, they made a decision. Oops, sorry, they made a decision here to speak, speak their truth, speak their truth about who they are and what they want and don't want. At this time, they know they don't like the way that you treated them. Um, or you don't like the way somebody treated you, they're afraid to lose you because you feel like the passion was too much. So you have to go off and do something else. You know, you're not going to be in regrets. You're not going to think about past hurts or events is what I'm hearing. I keep hearing I'm not going to ruminate on irrelevant things. But I'm definitely feeling like possibly a year from now, you're going to be in a, uh, a predicament where somebody's going to pull you back. Um, 
or they could be pulling you back sexually is what I'm hearing. But it's, you need to wait. You need to wait. I feel like it's going to tank your energy, your creative energy, your creative flow. But there is helpful people. I'm hearing somebody dealing with some type of sex addict or something like that. Some type of sex addiction, whether that's you, Virgo, or someone else. But I'm hearing definitely somebody is dealing with somebody going to try to pull them back sexually. Um, and it's up to you. It's up to you if that's what you choose to do. But I'm hearing you should wait, wait it out. Um, because in a year from now, if you keep working on your craft... You're going to be places you wouldn't even imagine. But I'm definitely hearing for a Virgo out there, at least one or two, um, is blocking your, your creative your creative flow. This sexual partner. There's a sexual partner out there that keeps pulling you back only for sex. They could be high. They could have high status. But I, I'm, I'm not. I'm feeling like that's going to. That's you. The, the, the famous kind humorous person and receiving the karma of this this abundance is going to be tainted by somebody that wants to pull you back sexually too too big too deep to describe I don't think that's love I think that's lust I think it's lust but you take what resonates for you I feel like it's going to taint your creative flow Whatever you do, sing, rap, dance, whatever you do that's helping you create that sexual partner that only comes around for sex, or it could be somebody you're dealing with, you know, they're tainting your creative flow. So if you ever have sex with somebody and then you start feeling like you can't create after that sexual encounter, that's the person. If you, if you have a creative block after having a sexual encounter with this person, that is the person. Um, vice versa. You know, it could be a Virgo out there doing this to somebody. Please take what resonates for you. But that's what I'm feeling. Um, yeah, that's what I feel. So let's get some angel prayer for this um, situation here. Virgo. For Virgo. Virgo for the month of June. The month of June for Virgo. All right. Yeah, let your light shine. I said it. I said it. You're some type of light bringer, light worker, or something like that. Somebody is trying to taint your creative flow. I'm hearing, um, you know, have a cock blocker. I'm hearing gold blocker. Somebody's a gold blocker, Virgo. But shine your light, Archangel Uriel. Thank you, Uriel, for helping me to shine and share my light with the world. Yeah. Shine your light, Virgo. Shine your light. Let's see what we got. Oh, it was already one foot. <laughs> All right. You are blessed to have received this angel card today as the angels feel the world is now ready to see the special gifts and talents that you call your light. You are being you have been hiding yourself from the world for far too long. And now is the time for you to step into your power and share your gifts you have with all those around you. You are a great beacon of light, and when you walk into the room, many people benefit from your positive energy and hard field presence. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing, Virgos. This is what I'm seeing. Somebody here is trying to go block. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just keep shining. Just keep shining and wait it out. Um, they said a year from now, it probably won't even matter at that point. Uh, this person probably will move on or vice versa. This is you doing this to someone else. But somebody definitely don't want to lose you. But you don't like the way that they treat you. And the passion is way too much. Or this person feels like the passion is way too much. But take what resonates for you. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of June. You guys, I hope you enjoy your um, day. And blessings on y'all journey. Again, I'm your host, Majestic Quinn. 444, please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Miss one of a kind. Again, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for the month of June. Thank you so much for joining and um, stay tuned for other readings.